Today I have a very cool tip for you, so let's jump in Cubase and let me show you what I have here. Uh, I am in a mix session and if you've been following me for quite a while, you know that I love to use mix buses for each types of instruments. Uh, so I have here on the right side of the mix console, I have one mix bus for the drums, one for the bass, uh, guitars, keys, and all of those wonderful mix buses are routed into this stereo output, which is then routed into the main master channel. This is the way I like to work. If you want to know more about the way I route things up in my mix templates, uh, just follow the link on top. I'm going to leave uh, the link for you to download my free ebook on how to create the perfect mix template. But what about effects channel tracks? How can I gain control over those tracks in this type of mix session? So this is what I'm going to talk to you about today on how to control your effects channel tracks using a VCA fader. Chris Salim here from Mixdown Online. Now, if you're new here on the channel and you love music production and you actually produce your own music or your friend's music out of your home studio or your bedroom studio, click on the subscribe button below in the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And if you enjoyed this video, share and like. All right, so now let's jump in Cubase. But everything I'm going to show you today can be done in any DAW that has VCA faders. All right, so now, uh, like I showed you earlier, those are my mix buses. And now we're going to talk about uh, FX channel tracks. Now, you could um, select all of your FX channel tracks and route them into their own mix bus. This is something that I've seen uh, mixers do, but it's not part of my workflow. Uh, I don't like it that much, but it still works pretty well. Um, what I like to do is to route my FX channel tracks according to the type of instruments they serve. So all of my FX channel tracks that are uh, used for the drums are going to be routed into the mix drum bus. And same for all the uh, FX channel tracks that are used for my vocals are going to be routed in the same mix bus than the vocals. That simple. But if I want to gain control over those channels, what I'm going to do is to use a VCA fader. So uh, let's say you just want to um, have control to mute all of the, the effects altogether, or just to solo them or bring them down altogether, you can do so with a VCA fader. So uh, let's uh, try that out here in Cubase. Um, now, I need to select all of those effects channel tracks to start with. Now to do so quickly, what I'm going to do is to go on top on studio and go down to any of the other mix consoles. Um, you have in Cubase access to three mix consoles. So I have uh, mix console three open and I'm going to go on top here, uh, configuration and click on the set channel type filter. I'm going to unselect everything and just select FX channels and VCA faders. So this way it's going to be way easier for me to select all those channels all at once. I'm going to select them all and just unselect those three VCA faders. Then I'm going to right click and uh, add VCA fader to selected channels. And that will create a VCA fader for all of those FX channel tracks that I selected. I'm going to rename that to VCA FX. And uh, this is what we get. Okay, I'm just going to bring them down all together or I can mute them, solo or listen to monitor those effects without any direct signal. Um, let's go down to our main mixer and I'm going to bring that channel to the right side of my mix console. Um, now to do so, just uh, make sure you have the left zone open and you have the visibility tab activated on top. Then at the bottom, click on the zone tab. Okay, not on the channel one, but on the zones. And then just go down until you have your VCA effects channel selected. Click on the right dot and that will bring that VCA channel to the right side of the mix console. So those tracks will stay static. Uh, so even if you move all of those uh, tracks on your mixer, those channels on the right will not move. This is a pretty cool feature that I love to use in Cubase. So let's have a quick listen to what we have and I'm just gonna mute all of those effects all at once. Ingenting 
levande långt hemifrån Resan tar mig långt, långt bort När jag reser kan jag sakta ner So if you want to control all of your effects at channel tracks and you don't want to route them into their own mix bus, using a VCA fader is the way to go. So this is going to be it for today. If this video was helpful, feel free to like and to share and to subscribe to this channel if you're new here. All right, my friend, I'm going to see you next time. Bye.